They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Oh my God. Take your hand, my dear, and place them both in mine. morning. Remember me? It is Thursday morning and this is my first vlog ever since the pandemic started. And it's going to be a remarkable episode. Why? No tech. I'm going to meet a woman named Liel who I discovered on none other than TikTok. She's an incredible, incredible singer. Like I'm talking, could be a an international sensation. The best part though, she doesn't know it. Turns out her parents live down the block from me. So I'm heading over, hear her sing, talk to her about her career, and now she used TikTok to build an incredible brand and so much more. Super pumped, here we go. Right before I get into my Volvo, I don't even remember if when I was vlogging I had the Volvo, but I'm loving it. In any case, right before I get in there, I'm just gonna give a little, um, I guess, explanation. I don't know that I'll be vlogging daily because I'm not yet in Tel Aviv every day, but I'm definitely starting again. And Joseph has been hounding me for like basically a year to get back to vlogging. So I am very excited about that. And I have some incredible, incredible opportunities coming my way. But incredible meetings in the last, in the next two weeks. So I'm very excited about that. But um, I figured the first vlog back will be a, a different kind of vlog. And I'll interview a singer who doesn't even realize she's a singer. Which, by the way, I'm not sure if you guys know. But I kind of love music. And I kind of, as a kid, wanted to sing. I never really did anything with it. So I guess this speaks to me more on a personal level. And my favorite song is Mr. Tanner by Harry Chapin, which is about a person who sings beautifully, but he can't make a living from it. Go check out Mr. Tanner. All right, going to Liel right now. Okay, it is 9.35 a.m. And as I mentioned before, this is my first vlog back, and I want to make sure that the audio is good because you're about to hear something that's going to blow your mind. I'm not even going to give any context. I'm not going to tell who's sitting next to me. I'm going to let you hear this for yourself because oh, is all I have to say. I'm going to tell you the backstory. It's even crazier than what you're about to hear, but let's just start. First of all, I'm totally putting on the spot, Leo, but can you please sing for me? Dance Monkey. What's it called? Dance, dance Monkey. Dance Monkey. Yeah. Dance monkey. Sing Dance Monkey. Yeah, let's do it. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Oh my God. Take your hand, my dear, and place them both in mine. You know you stopped me dead while I was passing by. And now I beg to see you dance just one more time. Oh, I see you, see you. So I have two more songs I don't want you to sing. Memories will do last, but before we do that, here's the context. I'll give a little background. There are, every so often, there are new kind of trends in the social media world. Back a couple of years ago, I was, was pretty active on Snapchat. Everyone's like, Snapchat? Isn't that for like disappearing photos? And I'm like, you don't understand. Snapchat's made a transition. And now there's like tons of business people on Snapchat. And I happen to have deleted Snapchat for other reasons, but TikTok, as you may or may not know, is huge right now. Uh, and yes, most people think of TikTok, they think of little girls dancing, but my feed is completely different because the algorithm, you know, customized, personalizes it for me. And so, as you guys know, I have several different passions. There's tech, so it's tons of tech, cars, tons of cars, basketball, and music, right? You guys know I love music. Now, I'm doing my thing, swiping through TikTok the other day, and all of a sudden, like, I hear this voice, and I'm like, whoa. Joey, Joey. I start like looking into this woman and turns out like she works in music, but she's not like an international sensation, which I think she should be. And I literally, I don't think I've ever sent a message to anyone on TikTok, ever. I'm not kidding. And I sent her a message and I'm like, you are, what did I write? You are amazing. I don't know what I, something like that. 
And she's like, uh, we know each other. We've passed each other on the street. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, my parents live down the block from you. So I literally was like, oh my God, I need to interview you. And I basically forced Liel to be interviewed by me. Uh, and I literally came down the block and we're meeting for the first time. And I know her parents, like from the neighborhood. Of course, I didn't make the connection, but bottom line is like, okay, I want to hear your backstory, but I'm just gonna, the punchline, spoiler alert, you need to do something major if you're talented or not. Like, I'm not just saying that, and it's amazing to me that you don't know it. Like, that's what's amazing to me. Like, in tech, I work with all these big CEOs, these like legends, and they don't know it. Like, all the great people have, you know, the greatness and the humility like, combined, and that's amazing. But in your case, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say, and you'll forgive me for saying this, you actually lack self-awareness. You, <laughs> you lack self-awareness because you don't realize that, like, honestly, and I listen to, you have a voice that's like extraordinary, really, 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 and you're obviously super musical, and. You need to do something. I know you write music. I know you work with singers, but like you need to be in the forefront, in my opinion. Okay, who is Leah? First of all, what's your last name? Uh, so my last name is Reinfeld, but I write Bar Z. It's half of my son's name. Got so it. That's my artist name. Bar Z. Bar Z. Bar Dasty. What's your son's name? Bar Z Live. That's his name. Bar Z Live. Dylan Bar Z Live. Oh, last name's Bar Z. Yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> got it. Got it. I was like, okay. Um, okay, so what's your story? Where did you grow up? Where Give me your back. Who is Leo? Talk to me. Ooh, uh, well, this is where I grew up. Right here. Really? Yeah. When did you move to Israel? I was born here. Wow. Born when did your parents move here? Uh, my dad moved here since 19. He made Aliyah. By the way, just so you guys know, it is 9.30. I'm having <laughs> Irish coffee with some uh, nice, I mean, there are kids watching, but it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Okay. Sorry. Go on. So you, you grew up here. Um, think you went to school in Beit Shemesh, like? Yeah, I went to, um, to Alt. Oh. Well, not when it was there, but... Right. By the way, I'm sorry that I keep interrupting you, but I just want to tell you, my last call just now was with the area, with the mayor, um, because she wants to, like, revamp the city and reposition it and remarket it and make it cool and whatever, because, you know, has a bad rep. So I'm giving them some advice on, on social media and some, you know, whatever. I, I really think I should make an introduction because I think you can teach them so much. Really? Well, um, like, unless, by the way, do you, what do you do for a living? What do you... Do you Oh, I sing. That's you for a living. I sing, um, I've been doing it anonymously for years. That's crazy. That's so crazy to me. Do you have time to like work with them on social media? Is that I interesting mean, to you? I I love meeting people, connecting and... No, no, I'll introduce you to all these up we'll see where, where it goes. Uh -huh. Okay, so you grew up here, you went to a road here, then what, army, like what, give me your story. Uh, so I moved to the States when I was 15 for mm. three years. Mm. From 15 to 18, I lived in the States. I'm not coming for the coffee. Well, you said to me, you, you're here because of the coffee. You yeah, said that's what you said. such good yeah. coffee, by the way. This is the reason. I bring my it's computer, so I work here, I record it. And it's home. also good lighting. Okay, so you, I, I'm, Hillel, stop interrupting her. Okay, so you moved to America, where in the States? Florida, to oh. Boca. Oh, Boca. Boca. Have we talked about this? Uh, no. Do you know, do you know Boca at all? Of course. John's you know? place? The, like, the one kosher pizza the rest, place? Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. So I worked there for years. Oh, cool. Yeah. Do you know the name Uri Pilachowski? No. He was the rabbi in Boca. But anyway, why'd you move to Boca? Uh, my dad's work, they offered him a promotion that would allow him in a few years to come back to Israel. Oh, what is so he, he doing went, uh, Right now he's working at uh, Optitex. He's a VP. And that, but he, no, your mom. That's <laughs> my brother. <laughs> hey, what's up? Wait, he's VP of what? Like, what kind of VP? Um, Marketing, sales? Sales. Or? Sales. Yeah. And what's the name of the company he works at? Optitex. I've never heard of that. Okay. It's a fashion design technology cool. software. So, Baba, so, all right, let's, so let's keep going. So, you, you yeah. army, would you do the army? Uh, I was a helicopter technician. Get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my favorite. I love it. That's crazy. I love it. There's, it's interesting. There's a woman, uh, are you into tech at all or not so much? Um, yeah, I guess. So, there's a woman, there's a CEO of a company in Israel called Zikit. And the name of the, the founder, the CEO, is a woman named Yael Wiesel. And she was a fighter pilot. And in, in the, um, the helmet of the pilots, there was like all this technology, and she's like, she developed it and she was like, I can do something else with this. And she took the technology and she built the Z kit and it's basically a virtual dressing room. So you could put on an outfit, she takes a picture of you and I'm sorry, you take a picture which puts you in an outfit virtually. You can see what the jeans look like on you. It's super good, crazy successful. Anyway, that's my ADD brain. You see Air Force, that's what I think. Okay, so you did that and then after that, after the army? After the army, I tried my hand at a whole bunch of different things. I tried opening a nonprofit, really? doing Zionism and awareness wow. for the youth. Awesome. I didn't work. <laughs> Why didn't it work? What do you mean? Was... Um, well, I also hadn't really established myself yet and figured out what I wanted to do. Right. And okay. They realized that I have to have a base before I go around. Okay. And... So after that? After that, I worked in high tech for a while uh -huh. in marketing. I worked in, uh, um, I worked at Optimex as well, and then I worked at Pelsonati. Um, in Tel Aviv, just okay. different high tech companies. So you did marketing, so you know marketing. I did marketing, so yeah. Else, I'm, I really want to connect you to Elisa Bach. Again, I don't know if it will lead to something or not, but you should, you should know you, you should know her. You could even like give concerts. And one of the things I told her, she should bring 
like weekly speakers or performers, or whatever, to Beit Shemesh and like bring, you know, give, give, give like activities to the, to the people, the residents of the, of the city. So maybe yeah. you can do a concert, but anyway. Okay, so yeah. So after that, um, I uh, was pregnant at one point. And after this whole TV show, I was on a TV show that was just traumatic and terrible. And so sad. You know, I decided I'm going to give my hand a trying. I gave up. So when sad. I came back, I did the army. Probably and... killed your confidence. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's anyway. so sad. But, you know, it didn't, and it didn't because I was, you know, I know I can sing. I'm not at a, a place where I think, you know, I'm toned up or something like that. But still, to go on stage and, and mess up what you think is going to be. It, was it really mess up or your mess up standards? Uh, like, objectively, if I saw it, would, you think I, would I think you messed up? I think so. Really? Well, it was a situation where um, they made the audition look bad and then said, wait, sing again. So I sang again that's and so they annoying. passed me by four yeses and then used the bad version for a promo. Oh, that's so annoying. So what was the song you sang? Uh, How to Save a Life, but they chose it. And oh, then, that's so annoying, my gosh. Yeah. Okay, story. So, so go on, yeah. I put, um, I got a demo out of it and um, I put it on a website called Airgates. Just, you know, trying different things. And two months later I get a job. Someone wants to pay me to sing their song. Okay, I sing, I get my first review, and that was it. Since then, that's what I've been doing. You've been singing for writers? They write the song, you sing it? Yeah. And they record you, but like, what, how does that work? I have a studio at home. They send me a melody guide and an instrumental. Or if they don't have lyrics, then they just send me the instrumental. Well, what's the I, point of them giving you, like, I don't, how does that work? I, I don't ask questions. People want to pay me to sing, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, um, my, my mom's calling me, so I should probably answer on camera. <laughs> Hi, everything okay? Well, that was bizarre. <laughs> all right, anyway. Okay, so you started singing for all these singers. Awesome. Yeah, next, keep going. Uh, next, I started getting, so it started off with writers that are, um, you know, just getting started and that's how it started and then I started getting bigger jobs and I have a singing competition in Kulbistan that uses my vocals as the opening. What? I have, yeah. It's wild. It's wild. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Wow. I okay. have, have you heard of Kygo? Why does it sound familiar? What is that? It's a very big producer. Kygo? Kygo. I don't think so. So he created a production class on monthly.com and uh, my vocals are in some of the demos that wild. I used. Do you get paid for this stuff? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was worried about you there for a second. Okay, so now, how did this whole TikTok thing happen? Why did you choose TikTok? I'm curious. Uh, people were telling, everyone was telling me, go on, be on TikTok, you have to be on TikTok. And I, as much as I like being on social media, and, and this year was really, okay, now we're going to get on yeah. to social media, I'm a very private. not so confident private person. And I love you're really not video. confident in your, like, honestly. I love what I do. I love singing. You don't realize that you're the entire day. <laughs> No, no, you don't realize that. I'm, I'm, I'm asking this question genuinely. The whole, yesterday, the entire day, I was terrified of the, what if I don't remember how to sing for the interview? Like, uh, what is going to happen? I don't, I don't understand. Like, honestly, I'm being serious with you. Like, I just want to hear, we're being, we're being very vulnerable here. Like, I, I think about this all the time, like, from my career perspective, like, and I don't know how much you know about what I do, but it's not relevant right now. But I always think to myself, like, what are my hard skills? Like, am I replaceable? Like, am I that good? Am I, and it's like, it's a scary thought. And like, then I, then I say to myself that like, when you're good at something, like if you could shoot the ball into the hoop, right? For you, it's natural. For other people, it's not, you think it's easier for everyone because I can do it so easily, but it's actually not. And I think that's the same thing here. It's kind of like imposter syndrome. Like you, you actually don't realize. That's exactly but what I have it also in tech. Like I'm like, I was asked to do a commencement speech in New York. I'm like, what? What am I, Bill Gates? Like what? But you know what? The reality is like, I have to know, I'm not saying to be like conceited, but you have to know what you're good at. And like, it's it's truly amazing to me. Like. You're, you're so good that it's so hard for me to believe that you don't know you're so good. So, um, the thing about musicians and singers is that until they get the rec recognition, it's not real to them. You know, it's a personal belief and they're like, right. you know, so right. as a singer trying to get people to hear you and then the first experience I had, they were like, eh. What's your numbers like on TikTok? It's blowing up, right? Uh, in three days, it jumped from like a thousand followers that I slowly grew to 35,000. Just, just from people following just, you? Yeah. When, did any of your videos go viral? Uh, one video hit seven, a, a little over 700,000 views. That's viral. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So this whole, you know you're good, wasn't, like people telling me that that they like what I do is, is about three years, three days old. It's like, that's new. You this have to, experience you have to listen to Mr. Tanner. It is such a good song. And it's, I'm telling you, it's so like our story, not our, because you're actually an amazing singer. I'm like an okay singer, but you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll play for you. Hang on one second. 
just so you hear what I sound like, this is my, my Purim singing. This is why I, I only sing on Purim because I'm not like self-conscious about my singing. Although I don't think there's a video of me singing, drunk singing on Purim. I can find it, my favorites in a minute. And, and you'll hear, like I have an okay voice. I have a good voice, okay, whatever, but not like, whoa. Um, but I always wanted to sing, and I just totally, here it is, okay. <laughs> totally drunk, by the way. I don't know. I, I totally like. I told you I was I was uh, rejected from a choir and I was like, totally traumatized and killed my confidence. But I, I definitely dream of. I have a lot of friends that are singers and they all like come to the come to the studio. So I'm, and I will end up recording something. I don't know. But I'm just saying, with Mr. Tanner, and you have to hear the song. I, I play it for you right now. It's amazing. It is literally that story. Like music is my life, but it's not my life. I'm good. I sing, but I can't make a living from it. So that's my story. Your story is is different. But anyway, okay. Bohemian Rhapsody. I've been waiting. I did this whole interview just after this thing in Rhapsody. No, so I've been saying on, on t- sh- sh- how, many, how often do you post videos? I post one, two videos a day. Okay. Um, how do you choose the songs? Uh, mostly what people ask for. I how come you haven't done my, ask, my, my request? What is this? request. <laughs> okay. So I've been asking Liel to do Bohemian Rhapsody for a while, and I'm not waiting anymore. Yeah. That's it. You know the words by her? Uh, yeah. Like, I'm words, gonna... lyrics, I should say. Yeah, it's... hold on. Is that a request. pixel? Or is that an iPhone? What is that? iPhone. The 12? Uh, 11. This is how you record? Don't tell me this is how you record. This is exactly how I record. Okay, that's, okay, now, okay. Look at she's recording. <laughs> the freaking phone. Okay, we have to do something about this. I'm not even kidding. I literally, I have, a, I have a camera at home that I don't use. I'm not kidding. It's a Sony RX100. Okay. And it, it records unbelievable. I, I will lend you this <laughs> camera for as long as you need. Just please, you have to, it's not fair. Like, and, and you don't even use a professional mic. It's killing me. <laughs> you gotta, we gotta, all right, we're gonna fix this. Okay, let's go. Bohemian Rhapsody. Hit it. I'm just shutting up. All right. Whew. All right. So. <clears throat> Let it rip. Mama just killed a man. Oh, now I'm all nervous. <laughs> Mom, you got this. Put a gun against his head. I pulled the trigger. Now he's dead. Oh, mama. Life has just begun. And now. Seriously, okay, I'm, I'm like, I, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm, I have a friend, a really good friend, his name is Israel Schachter. Um, he is, he's the CEO of a company called um, Charity Bids, where he, he has people bid like on dinners with celebrities and then he gives it to charity. It's a really cool company, but the guy's connected like up the wazoo to every single celebrity, like you name it, everyone. Like, Jamie Foxx, everyone, like, oh like good friends with these people. I, I'm, I'm, I, he, just made a, he just made a video for his daughter who also sings unbelievably. I'm gonna connect you guys because I'm telling you, he's gonna hear you. He's gonna get you on like the biggest stages. Uh, this is like this 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 whole small small time thing has to end. All right, open up, Dance Monkey. I'm totally putting you on the spot. I love it. I'm like putting her to work here. But then then we have to talk about like I don't know how to keep this this whole thing up a notch. Um, open those lyrics. I do really want to to do a shout out to Air Gigs, the website. Mm, they that, they started it all. They started it all. It's I Air what? Been Air Gigs. Airgigs.com. Yeah. Cool. I wouldn't be a singer if it wasn't for that. That's awesome. It's crazy. And okay. there's so I mean, I never even heard of it. Awesome. Okay. So, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I, I, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to start thinking, like, I, we, and listen, I, the CEO of Ticketmaster Israel is a good friend of mine. Like, he does all the, all the concerts in Israel. Like, all of them. Like, you name it. Any, like, when Queen came and everything, he did all those concerts. Oh, He's an amazing, amazing. Were you there? I was at the show, of course. Yeah, yeah, we were there, too. Yeah. Um, and, uh, no, so I, I'm going to, again, like, to me, this is, I don't, I don't, I don't mean to sound rude, but, like, you're a waste of time. Like, I think you should do something massive. I really yeah, do. You can only ever do something massive if people believe in you or know about you. So okay, it's so all new we're, and we're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's hear, let's hear Dance, Dance Monkey. Is that what it's called? Dance Monkey. It's one of my favorite songs. I love it. Yeah. And I just want to point out we're at 18 minutes on my interview, and this is very not optimized for ADD this episode, but what are you going to do about it? I don't want to cut it short. A couple more minutes, but I, I want to hear this thing. And then do you want it with music? or I didn't Whatever you think is nicer. So when I was 12 years old, I was on a show. Uh, a Jewish version, a very religious version of Mary Poppins. Mary, Mary Poppins. That's so funny. And I sang Memories, but okay. with different lyrics. Wow, 
It's yeah, funny. So that was a I love, I love that song. Memories is an amazing song. I might, I, it, it makes me very emotional for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know. It's a, I don't know what, what, what about what about the song, but it's like a, in any case. Um, so I mean, do you think like this TikTok thing will lead to like like are you gonna, how do you envision this like over the next six, eight, ten months? You're just gonna continue doing this and I'm gonna continue doing this. I'm still recording with so many artists, writing with different producers. Uh, now the Kaigo chorus songs are starting to come out, so everyone who uses my vocals also is promoting me. So, so it's, awesome. Do you you don't know Jewish music at all? Like totally not. Uh, I do. You know, I mean, you ever hear a guy named Eli Schwabel? You ever heard the name? He's, mm-hmm. he's you don't you remember? I don't know if you remember when we were kids. It was a group called Vegas. Remember that? Vegas. You know, they made up Hamala Chago. Okay, they, 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 songs. they were very <laughs> famous. They were very very popular in the Jewish world, whatever. So, the father is Rivi Schwabel, I think is his name. Was Vegas? His son Eli Schwabel is a singer now. Obsessed with his voice. I'm like totally obsessed with his voice. Let me just see if I can. Uh, I'll just play something real quick for you. Just to hear his voice. It's so unique. And I love, he's just an amazing guy also. Hold on, let's hear. So this is uh, my wife's favorite song. This is, I, but it's Jewish, but. I love his, I love his voice. I love it. I loved a Jewish uh, song. Such a beautiful voice. Oh, it's brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. I said, I love Beautiful voice, right? Yeah. So unique. Okay. Yeah. He's, he's an amazing singer. Anyway, yesterday I was funny. Yesterday I was um, what was I driving? Oh, I went to, with my daughter to uh, get father daughter manicures. Because yes. huh? I stopped biting my nails. I'm very proud of this. But anyway, this this interview is so EDD. But anyway, on the way, we were listening to that song, and I was like, and she was like, oh, it's so nice. And I was like, you know what, I'll call Ellie. So I, I FaceTimed him. He was like in a meeting, and then as I'm getting a manicure, he FaceTimed me back. I wasn't getting a manicure. It was very funny, but he's an amazing guy. And he's, I mean, if you, I don't know, yeah, I don't know if you like Jewish music, but he's not your typical Jewish music like singer. He's not your, he's a little bit different. But anyway, bottom line, you're going to keep doing this on TikTok. I'm assuming you're going to continue to explode. I'm just, I'm literally just thinking right now, like, how do I, in addition to the things that I already said that inter- introduce introductions and things like that, what would you say are your, your primary challenges right now? Or specifically, is there anything I can do to help? Like, are you making a living from music right now? Um, and I'm close. I, I, I'm not going into minus. And I, I feed my son and have <laughs> that, a roof over my head. Better than most Israelis. I'm so happy. Right. You know, like. Right. Okay. So that's good. And, and what about time-wise? Like, are you jammed or do you have extra time? I have some extra time that I'm learning how to utilize in, in different ways. Do you, would you be able to, like, do you think you'd be able to, you have a voice training, right? Like official voice training, did no, you? I've never done official voice training. Do you think you could teach someone how to sing properly? I don't know if I should just because I haven't had any training. Because right. I sing completely wrong. <laughs> like I sing from here, not from here. But anyway, side topic. Okay, so listen, here's the bottom line. One, if there's ever anything I can do to help, I mean it, like tell me, absolutely. Uh, two, I'm gonna make these introductions. And three, if people are watching, where can they follow you? Where's the best place to follow you? Are you on Instagram, by the way? I'm on Instagram. I'm do you on post TikTok. there also? Yeah. You post the videos there too? Same I video? don't post the videos. I post on Instagram updates of different songs that I have with different producers coming out. Why don't you post the reels? And then on TikTok. You don't use reels? Uh, it just came out. Yeah. Well, it just, it just came, came out in Israel. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's amazing. Have you tried it? I haven't had a chance. Oh, it's amazing. It. It's like TikTok, but better. Okay. It's TikTok without the garbage. Without the garbage? Yeah. I don't know what their, they, their filters are apparently much better. I love reels. I can spend hours on reels. So I don't, I want people to be able to follow me and have different uh, content on different platforms. So that. Instagram. It's is, hard to do. Yeah. Okay. Um, would, would you, again, like, I'm just, this is the way my mind works. Like, would you, in addition to your singing, would you want to work in marketing or you're done with that? I am never done with anything. I, I love any opportunity that comes my way. I love talking to Awesome. Things, All right. Out. I want one more song. You choose. One more song. Okay. It has to be something that I know, so I can appreciate it. Hmm. What, what songs do you sing? What's, give me some songs that you sang recently, because I watch every single video of yours. What, what are some songs do you sing? Uh, I sang Fly Me to the Moon. I don't know. No, I, I don't even know that song. You don't know Frank Sinatra? Okay. I don't know Frank Sinatra. You don't know my... Okay. <laughs> I don't know Frank Sinatra. You're making fun of me for not knowing memories. You don't sure. know Frank Sinatra. All okay, right. that's true. That's true. Fine. <laughs> that's, that's, I'll take it. Yeah, what else? Um, so, you sang some really good songs lately that I really liked. I can go to your account and start looking. But. I love Carpenters. Um, Billy Joel, I haven't had a chance to sing yet. Uh, uh, the Anna Waits for You. No, the, what, what did you sing? Slow what? down, you crazy child. Oh my God. Like, you see, look, it's even open. I showed, it, I showed it to my neighbor just now this morning. Hold on. Um, wait, I'm trying to remember what songs you sang. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is really cool. It's someone added a guitar. So good. So good. Excuse me. 
There was one song that I remember. Why Oh, that Love it? that song. Go. All right, let's do it. Listen to this. Yeah. Beatles, like you're literally. I'm it's not like even. Beatles is clean. I'm oh, sorry. Please. <laughs> this is literally better than the original. Like, not even kidding. Go no, for it. we can't say that. Freddie is Freddie. 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 <laughs> Freddie. What, do you, what do you think of what's his name? Campbell. Campbell. No. Um. Uh. Adam. Adam. Uh, Adam. Lambert. Edward. Yeah. Adam Lambert. Lambert. What do you think? I love. His his range is like. I've been watching him since he was on American Idol. He didn't even win. No, he didn't even win. And he's with Queen. That's like, yeah. can you imagine as a musician, like I, I his voice? It. It was... He's about the only person in the history of mankind that could actually reach notes that Freddie Mercury couldn't reach. Really? His, his range is like, did you see the movie, by the way, Bohemian Rhapsody? Yeah. Amazing, huh? It was amazing. Amazing. I loved it. All right, let's go. And then I want you to do Blackboard, and that's it. I'm gonna, <laughs> let's go. Love of my life, you hurt me. You've broken my heart. Now you leave me the love of my life. Can't you see? Bring it back, bring it back. Don't take it away from me because you don't know what it means to me. Oh my God. Ridiculous. Okay, so where, if people are watching, they want to follow you. You'd say TikTok is the main. Yes. That's Leo Z. TikTok, uh, Leo Barzi. Leo Barzi. L I E L B A R Z. That's for like full blown singing Music. content where I'm like really singing. Right. Okay. And then Instagram is for updates on different songs that okay. I have. And, and like you're, are you on LinkedIn or? I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, no not, songs not there. Just there. Okay, so wait, what other platforms are there that are interested? Are you on Snapchat? I'm not on Snapchat. You're on Snapchat. Don't waste your time. I mean, it used to be amazing, but like whatever. Um, I have Facebook. I mean, Facebook's um, your personal, I, I imagine, right? I have a page. Oh, you I have a page, page yeah. Okay, and so what, what is, what's it called, the page? Leal Barzi. Everything Leal Barzi. is Leal Barzi. L-I-E-L-B-A-R-Z. Okay, last song. You choose anything. Um, song I don't know. Blackbird, right? Blackbird, let's do it. Blackbird singing in the dead of the night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. Oh, your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arrive. Blackbirds. Can I get? Sorry, I'm like fanboying. All right, listen. We are at 30 minutes. My editor is going to murder me. In 30 minutes. No one watches 30 minutes, but I have a feeling that this episode people will stay till the end because your voice is just bananas. Anyway, listen. Anything that I can do to help, like honestly, I mean it. Like, talk to me, it. and I'm just saying. Like, I'm, I know I'm repeating myself over and over again, but like, honestly, Leo, you need to do something massive. Like. Again, like I have many friends, all the Jewish like music world, like you name it, like Morty Schaap, Benny Friedman, I don't know if you know these guys, Mordecai Shapiro, you know? Hey, yeah, he's I'm say yes. <laughs> he actually is, by the way. Mordecai Shapiro, uh, I don't want to say the only one, but he's one of the, the few Jewish singers that are, that are that good that he can be international. He's really, really good. Like, you should definitely watch him. But like him and Benny Friedman and Eli Shwe, but like a lot of my friends are in the Jewish music world and I'm, I'm friends with a lot of musicians and like, you know, um, you know the... Uh, What's it called? Hold on. Disturbed version of. Uh, oh, so he's a good friend. He's Jewish. You know oh that. God, that it blew my call, call, mind. Call my call my phone, friends. Call my phone. Call my phone. 052. I should. Maybe I shouldn't give this on on. <laughs> so, 052. Or, you know, let me dial actually. Yeah. Mind you? <laughs> Thanks. Watch this. 052. Wait. This is. I mean, he's. You know, he's he's Jewish. Yeah, 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 no, he does this, he did this interview where he talks about uh, the yeshiva. And yeah, he's amazing. He's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's like really uh, unbelievable. Anyway. Unbelievable. Wait, you know what? Let's, one more. I'm, I, I can't. I can't get enough. <laughs> What's that song? That's uh, Hello Darkness? No. Oh, um, Sound of Silence. Sound of Silence? Is that what that yeah. is? Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Last one, I promise. Promise. <laughs> All right, hold on. You, know, you don't know the lyrics, Power? Mm-hmm. Hello Darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. And then what? Because of it is all in you. And the vision I was in my head. I don't know the words either. Oh, man, I'm telling you. It's so I can't. Yeah, by the way, what are the chances? What are the chances that like I message you on TikTok and you're down the block from me? I thought like, it was so, so crazy. Funny. So wild. Alright, let's do it. Last one, I promise. And then that's it. I mean I'm at 31 and a half minutes. Joseph's gonna murder me. Okay, yeah. Darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk to, with you again because of vision softly creeping 
left its seeds while sleeping, and the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence. Mind blown. Okay, Liel Barzi, everywhere on the internet. Follow her. If you want to reach out professionally to do music together, reach out because I'm telling you, Definitely. like, there's no question in my mind, zero question in my mind that five years from now, you're going to be so big you won't even talk to me. I'm just telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to be big. Anyway, Liel, this was super duper awesome to meet you. And I'm, I'm happy that this was my first vlog back since the pandemic. That's kind of cool. By the way, for those watching, in case you're wondering, we're both vaccinated, double vaccinated, and that's why we're not wearing masks. We're also distanced somewhat. So everyone, because I get killed on the internet, right? Yeah. yeah I, took, I went to a, a company the other day, a, a startup. I took a picture. We're all vaccinated. And I, on LinkedIn, some woman's like attacking me. Like, dude, I, whatever. I've, I can talk about that for hours. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Yael, thank you so, so much. It was super, awesome. super awesome to meet you. I'm 100% a fanboy, just so you know you have actual fanboys. Um, and yeah, anything I can do to help you, let me know. I will. Thank awesome. you. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye. Say bye. Bye. Was I exaggerating? I was not. She is incredible. What an awesome way to come back to the vlog. And on that note, what did I used to do? See you next week.